Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on our awesome content about science, technology, and the fascinating universe around us. Today, we're tackling a question that many of you have been curious about. How does the International Space Station, or ISS, get its oxygen? I mean, they're up there in space. It's not like they can just open a window for some fresh air, right? The importance of oxygen before we dive in, let's talk about why oxygen is so critical. Humans need oxygen for cellular respiration, the process that allows us to convert food into energy. In a confined space like the ISS, maintaining a stable oxygen level is crucial for the astronaut's survival. Oxygen transportation The first method to get oxygen up there is pretty straightforward, shipping it from Earth. Oxygen is transported to the ISS through resupply missions. It's stored in tanks and then connected to the ISS's internal systems. However, this method has its limitations. It's expensive, and the supply is finite. Electrolysis This brings us to the more sustainable method, electrolysis. The ISS has something called the Environmental Control and Life Support System, or ECLSS. One of its functions is to generate oxygen. It does this using the Oxygen Generation System, or OGS. This system uses electrolysis to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen gases. The oxygen is then released into the cabin for the crew to breathe, while the hydrogen is vented into space or combined with carbon dioxide to produce water and methane. Sabatier system now, you might be asking, where does the ISS get all this water for electrolysis? Good question. The ISS utilizes another process known as the Sabatier reaction. This method combines hydrogen, remember, the byproduct of electrolysis, and carbon dioxide, which is exhaled by the astronauts. The Sabatier reaction produces water and methane. The water is then fed back into the oxygen generation system, making it a somewhat closed loop system. Backup systems of course, the ISS also has backup systems, like compressed oxygen tanks and candles, made of chemicals that release oxygen when burned. These are kept on standby for emergencies. So there you have it. The ISS gets its oxygen primarily through a combination of resupply missions and ingenious onboard systems like the ECLSS, which recycle resources to generate life-sustaining oxygen. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, and if you have any more questions about space, technology, or anything else, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for more exciting videos.